Hey, if you're new to the channel, man, come on through. Hit the subscribe button. After you watch the video, I guarantee you're going to want to subscribe because everything I do is a hit. Um, like the video. Please hit that like button, man. If I get, let me get 100 likes on this. At least 100, man. You know, that'd be nice, man. And um, hit the bell so you get notified every time your bro drops something. And listen while I'm finna tell you why this movie here is the best movie I done seen in my life. I think so. I think I'm ready to say that. Let's get it. Hey, what's up, y'all? Look, man. My mind just got blown. That, that man, that Batman movie. Bro, that Batman movie, that junk is something else, bro. Like, I ain't never seen nothing. Like, I... Man, now for, some of y'all might know I'm a Batman fan. Like I love Batman. Even from the time I was growing up, I was watching Batman the animated series and um you know, I grew up in the 90s, man. So like, you know, I grew up watching that. So from an early age, that's part of the reason why I'm such a good storyteller now because you know, I wasn't just watching um, you know, I watched the silly stuff growing up like everybody else. But you know, I was watching that and that show like right, that show really a grown up show. It really ain't no kids show. It's really a grown up show. So I grew up watching that, and um, so you know, so Batman just always stuck with me. You know, I I won. I never read comic books. You know, like I when I got older, I did like kind of. I, I went in back on the Pirate Bay days. For y'all that don't know Pirate Bay, like uh, where you go and download a bunch of stuff illegally. So I, I would go on Pirate Bay and I think I found like a big collection of all the comics or something in like PDF form. So I took them and I read some of them, like the most popular ones and stuff, you know, but this is but you know, that was when I was already grown, man. Like I, I didn't grow up reading comics, but I was always, you know, a Batman fan. The movies, even back with the George Clooney days, with the, with the George Clooney Batman, man, you know, so the one with the nipples on the suit, man, you know, I go, I, I, I love Batman, so, shoot, even the Adam West Batman, right? I used to watch the Adam West Batman, I remember growing up, I had the, the VHS, man, of, um, it was like Joker, Riddler, and Penguin, they all teamed up. And they was after Batman. That's the one. I think that's the one where he used the shark repellent spray, man. You know, I mean, he was just always ready, man. Just spray the shark. You never know you get attacked by a shark, man. So anyway, yeah, um, I always was a fan, man. You know, uh, I like some other heroes, you know, but man, to me, can't nobody touch. Nobody touch. Batman really a black man. They just don't make him black, but he really black, man. You know, angry. You know, don't talk no whole lot. Don't smile for pictures. You know, <laughs> you know, always stressed out. You know, that yeah, Batman really a black man. They just, you know, that's originally originally it was black man, but you know, then they, you know, back then you so this was back in the day, so they had to say like black man not gonna work. We ain't gonna make no money. All right, we gonna have to name him, name him Batman. This, you know, that's what really happened. <laughs> anyway. My dream in life is to play Batman one day in a movie. Anyway, let me hurry up and get to the review because some of y'all watching this might not be usual and you might not understand it. I just be running my mouth a lot because I like to run my mouth, you know, and I like to talk to my people, man. So that's why I be getting sidetracked and junk. But anyway, this movie, man, from the time that mud came on until the time it went off, it was perfect. Now, I'm not an easy person. Like, I'm not an easy person to impress on movies. Like, my favorite movie of all time before I saw this was... Well, let me go back. Like, I liked Scarface when I was a teenager. Then I liked, like, The Dark Knight, Scarface. That was, like, up there. And then I saw Casino, and Casino was up there. And then I saw Goodfellas, and Goodfellas was up there. And then I saw Godfather, then Godfather went up there. Then I saw Apocalypse Now, and Apocalypse Now was up there. I just recently saw that for the first time. Because I'm a tough movie critic, man. Like, you know, I'm, you, I'm not easy to please when it comes to movies. Like, I'm telling you, like, man, bro, it take a lot for me to like a movie. I, you know, it's a lot of little sad movies I like. Especially like them thriller, crime type, gritty type movies. 
But just, it's a lot of stuff, man. Like, I just can't, I can't do it. It'd be so mo- many movies, man, I turn on, I'd be like, you know, so I'm a, I'm a tough critic, man. But um, this thing right here was perfect, man. The way it started, the way it put your, it put you in a, it made you look at Batman in ways that you never looked at him before. And I know about Batman because I done played all the games, the Arkham games. I done seen all the little cartoon movies. I seen all the movies with real people in it. I done seen all that junk. But none of this made you think of Batman the way they made you think of him in this movie. It really let you see him in a light that you ain't never really seen, thought about. And it's simple stuff, but you be like, dang, I never thought about it like that. Like, I ain't going to spoil the movie. This ain't going to be no spoiler. You know, I ain't going to get down like that. But, um, yeah, there's some stuff where you like, damn, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So, they, man, I'm telling you, they did their thing with that, man. They did their thing. They did their thing, bro. That junk was cold, man. So, um, in the, the way he, the way he, he took his time and you don't see that with movies man that's one of my biggest problems with a lot of movies these days they don't take their time man now this movie i was like i hope they don't get all into like batman origin story because we already seen the origins we know the origins we know why he do what he do so i was like you know i hope they don't get all into that man like we already seen this a million times and and i and i like that because the movie treated us like Look, we know you know who Batman is. We just finna get down. We finna, so he was getting down from the jump, man. And, and um, and then um, the way he, you know, it's just everything he took his time. You know, he, he wasn't just oh man, uh, he took his time. The the Riddler was that was a good version of Riddler, man. Now I know people who not really fans of Batman. Probably they probably look at the Riddlers. You know, kind of like a jokester, a trickster, or whatever. But the Riddler is a little, you know, he he crazy. He he kill people for for riddles, man. He make riddles and that that they kill people. So, you know, that Batman, and you know, cause my mama, well, my mom is just, uh, I don't like that new Batman. Uh, they, it's too dark. It's too and like, cause she not, you know, she just used to the Adam West Batman and the and the the. The uh the 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 Danny the De- when Danny DeVito played the Penguin and and Jack Nicholson you know she used to the more goofy Batman you know she think that's the real Batman she don't know that the real Batman is the dark grimy stuff man so yeah Riddler was grimy he was crazy and what make it so good is that you know you know the Joker coming you know like two-face coming you know the real crazy people coming so for riddler to be that crazy it's like i can't wait to see how crazy joker gonna be like if riddler crazy like that then the joker must just be on a whole nother level man so that was good they did um the penguin he was good they didn't do a lot with penguin wait oops i'm sorry i'm talking too much they did they did enough with him you know they did it because this movie is kind of like you know, when they did the Christopher Nolan trilogy and they had Batman Begins to kick it off, you know, it kind of laid the foundation for the Dark Knight to come and knock it out the park. So this movie laid the foundation of how this Batman operate and, you know, how he think and all that, how he move. So it's, um, you know, they did, man, so it, they really set it up for this to be amazing, man. They really, really set this mug up for it to be big time. And then on top of that, uh, the detective work, the detective work, they was not lying. It was some good detective work. And not just, not even just like, you know, usually in the Batman movies, he kind of just figured stuff right on out, you know. But in this one, you actually saw him step by step figuring stuff out, you know, coming, uh, you know, it's like a, it was an onion and he was just peeling back layers and every layer he peeled back and make you want to cry, you know, just like an onion, man, bet. just peeling that mug back, back, back. So I liked it that that was, um, you know, that was, that was a good touch, man. Real nice touch to kind of see that on and him and Jim, Jim Gordon was black. Can you believe Jim Gordon was black? Like, I remember when I first saw the trailer, I was looking at John and said, man, something ain't right. And my brothers kept saying Jim Gordon was black. I'm like, what are y'all talking about? And then I really looked at it. I said, wait a minute. He is <laughs> he is black. Hold on a goddamn minute. He sure goddamn is black. 
You know, I just thought it was some random detective. I didn't think it was Jim Gordon in the trailer. I said, oh, shoot, he is black. Well, I be dog, man. Then Catwoman black. Catwoman, she was cool. You know, she was cool. You know, you know, I like she was she was good. I liked it, huh? And uh, man, everybody was good. Everybody was good. Um, the only thing I really didn't like was Robert Pattinson was not in shape, man. Like he, you playing Batman, bro? You supposed to go put some muscle on, man. You finna play Batman? You supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? You supposed to be cocky, boy. If I knew I was finna play Batman. I'm finna get all of man. I'm finna get all the muscle I can. Boy, I play Batman. I I wouldn't even have no bat suit on. Boy, I go out there and I, I go out there in a black tee, a black tee with some black ones, and uh, and <laughs> a black t-shirt, some black ones, and some jogging, with some black jogging pants on. Sure, you think Batman rough with a do rag on too? Boy, I go out there just like this. You, it's about to go down. <laughs> you think Muggs running from Batman? Boy, we getting ready to move some furniture. You, you let me go out there ready to go, boy. Hey, a mug, you ever see a man, a guy take his shirt off and he ain't got, and, uh, and he has some black ones on or some jogging pants and he ain't got nothing on but a, a, a tank top or just an old raggedy t shirt? Y'all finna throw down. Y'all about to throw down. <laughs> I'm telling you. you might, I hope you pack the lunch because you finna be fighting for a good 30, 40 minutes, man. Shoot, mugs don't get down, boy. Back when, man, when I was growing up, you used to see mugs fight. I'm talking, man, I remember fifth grade, boy. Me and this one big dude, man. We both two big Negroes, boy. We thought we outside, boom, we pushing. Boom, boom. Man, we fought for a bottle. I don't know how we even got away with it. It was right after school. Everybody was out there. Man, we fought for about 15 <laughs> You kept, like, I was holding him, he was holding me. We kept kicking each other in the shin. And finally, I messed around and, and, and locked in. <laughs> Boom! Boy, I slammed that big joker, man. In front of everybody, man. <laughs> I forgot about that. Man, that's crazy. I forgot about that junk tail just now. Yeah, I slammed that big joker, boy. <laughs> Right in front of everybody, got away with it too. So yeah, man, and we even shook we shook hands after the mother. Like, oh y'all ain't like, y'all ain't for real. Y'all shaking hands. I said, man, ain't nothing. And once I slammed that big, <laughs> big mother, we were cool like that. But anyway, uh, yeah, man, that 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 movie was perfect, man. The music, you know, the music was amazing, man. You know, they they had the 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 music they played in the trailer, which is like the Nirvana song, but they took it. And all throughout the movie, they kept giving it to you different ways, you know. They get to you off the piano. They get to you off the like. Then they just give you the bass line. Then they give you the the main line. Then they just give you the drums. It was like they they kept giving it to you all throughout the movie. Every kind of different which way, man. And I like that because that make the movie more memorable when you hear a soundtrack and everything is based off of that soundtrack. Versus movies that had like every scene at its own sound, like they should do that all most more often, man. Like you know, so that way, when I think of Batman, I'm thinking of that music. Cause like if you think about Black Panther, I don't remember Black Panther or any of the Avengers movies having like a, a sound, man. And you know, like Superman movie he had a few sounds, but it was like with this one. When you leave that, like you, you got that in your head. Like whenever you ever hear that, like you just, you just got it, man. They really did they thing with that, man. Then um, the fight scenes was good. It didn't have fight scenes as good as Batman versus Superman, but they were good enough. They were good. They was um. It wasn't like the Dark Knight where you couldn't tell. Because in the Dark Knight movies, a lot of the fights, you couldn't really tell what was going on. But these fight scenes, they were good. They were good. Now, they just, the only thing, the only reason why I say they weren't good as Batman versus Superman because they wasn't one take. You know, they didn't one take the fight scenes. The fight scenes were, and for y'all that don't really understand what that means, that means like, if, if like, okay, when Jackie Chan did a, a, a movie, you could just sit the camera and say go. Jackie, go. 
Because Jackie Chan knew how to, he was really athletic and stuff. So Jackie Chan could do a fight scene and him and that guy could be, they knew how to, Jackie Chan didn't necessarily know how to fight in a one-on-one -on -one fight, but because of the training they did for the, for the, because people used to go to the Chinese, like Chinese people would go to the theater and watch people perform fights and stuff for plays. So they knew how to throw a punch. And stop that mug like right there, you know. They knew he knew how to throw that mug and stop it right there without hitting you. Pow, you know. So, you know, you could just set the camera and say, Jackie, go. But nowadays, like when you're doing movies like Robert Patterson don't know how to fight and he ain't in shape like that. So you can't just set the camera and say, go. You know, you got to maybe do a couple of punches, cut the camera couple more punches cut the camera you know what i'm saying so, so that's how they that's how they do it so to me i, I always kind of knock movies for that because i feel like you know take the time to get the fight scene right you know what y'all y'all took you four five years shoot the movie they ain't do the field <laughs> shoot the fight scenes man what else y'all doing sitting around chilling man shoot the dang fight scenes right but um but they were they were good you know they were good they just they just wasn't as good as Batman versus Superman, but the story and the atmosphere and the dialogue, the dialogue was so good. Cause that's another thing, I man. I don't like all that. That's why I'm not a big Superman fan. I be trying to like, cause Superman, you know, it's like I I have to, I must, I must, um, I must find out what it. You know, Superman. I like, I, you know, I like this bat. He was just like, yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, I'm Batman. And no, he didn't call himself Batman in the movie. He called himself something else. But he was just like, yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, he was just slick with it, <laughs> you know. Like I said, you know, he just wasn't like, wasn't no big speeches. And, you know, you know, it wasn't no, you know, Riddler did his little speeches and stuff. But even when Riddler did his speeches, like it wasn't like, uh, you know, it wasn't that typical super villain stuff. You know, it was. It was grounded in. It just sounded relatable, man. Crazy as that may sound, that a guy, a homicidal maniac can. But it was just relatable, man. You know, good dialogue, straight up. You know, Jim Gordon, he was black. Now it'd have been nice if Jim Gordon was like a little more, uh, a little, uh, a little more Negroish. <laughs> if he'd have been a little more, I'd have liked to see Jim Gordon, like, cause he was black. But he wasn't like the kind of black I grew up around, you know. Like I kind of wanted like to have like a, like that's my uncle type feel. But I it just you know I would have liked to see him just, cause you know like I don't know black to me black people bring comedy to stuff, and between him and Catwoman like Jim Gordon might have had one maybe two funny parts. I like to see a little more comedy from him. Catwoman, she wasn't funny. Catwoman was all serious, boy. She was all business. But um, that's good, too. You know, they didn't try to force comedy in there, like on some Marvel stuff and all that. You know, they didn't They didn't try to force no comedy in there. And, it, and you know, and, I, and that's, it ain't nothing wrong with comedy, but this version of Bruce Wayne, like this version of Batman, you know, no, nah, you and I, I liked Alfred too. Alfred was pretty cool in this movie, you know. So a lot of people, they didn't even do a lot with like a lot of people in this movie was just you know they really ain't do nothing with. And look in that in that Batmobile, that mug so cold, bro. It's it it kind of looked like a maybe like an old Camaro mixed with a. Let me see what that new Batmobile look like. It's, it's like a man. It's like a maybe a uh that man. I'm trying to see what this because I, I can think of the car, but I can't think of. Am I thinking about a uh? Because it's like I don't know. Am I thinking about a a, a GTO? Uh, I can't think of what car. It's kind of like a. Uh, Man, I gotta, I gotta see the Batman. Batman, 
Yeah, it's like it's it looked like it, it looked like something from Mad Max. Like it ain't got like that that um it just got a muscle car design, like a seventies muscle car design, man. Like just look part Camaro, part um Charger, you know, maybe some uh maybe some GTO in there. Maybe a little Mustang kinda yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, I'd probably say, like, I don't know, maybe more Mustang. So, yeah, that mug is cold, man. Like, just, uh, that mug is cold, man. The way it, and, and oh, man, like, <laughs> I'm trying not to get none of the movie away, but the action scenes and the chase scenes with that Batmobile is unbelievable, man. Like, it's, it's and then the camera work, they always had the camera in the perfect place. They always got the perfect shot. They showed the shots from the perfect angles. Um, they took their time, man. Like, man, I just love that when a movie takes its time, man. They had two hours, almost three hours on this movie. And I, it's like, and it was never boring. And uh, it was never boring. And they just took their time, man. And, like, the movie constantly just, it just constantly just kept going. And it was kept going. And it just kept going. But it was going, it kept going good. Not just kept going, like, for the sake of going. Like, it was like, okay, yep, yep. It gave you everything you needed. And it's the perfect setup. The setup for the next movie is crazy. You can tell this next movie is going to be just wild, man. I'm talking about wild. The next movie going to be out of this. It's going to be a whole man. It's going. This next movie going to be serious, man. And this movie didn't do a lot of the, the you know, the movie tropes, man. The same junk you see in all the movies, you know. It just, it just didn't follow that, you know. It was. It's still a movie, you know. It's still a movie, but... It didn't follow the basic movie tropes. It was good, man. It was really good. It was really good, man. Like, I'm happy, man, because me and my brothers have been talking about this movie for years, man. And it came out. And, I'm, and I have to say, I have no, no complaints, no gripes. I can't wait to watch that at home. Make me some, give me some Doritos. And some, when that movie drop at the crib... Give me some Doritos. Give me some uh some make some 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 turkey, some ground turkey, and some of the jars of queso. And put some of them jars of not queso, uh salsa con queso. Salsa con queso. Get some of that. Put some of that with uh in that meat. And put some some salsa in that meat. And that ground beef, you gotta hit that ground beef with some um uh, I don't use regular salt on ground beef. I use seasoned salt. And some of them taco packets, onion powder, garlic powder, some uh, some dang um, uh, cumin if I got it, you know, cumin. And them little taco packets, put one of them up in there. Shoot, that turkey meat. And then with the turkey meat, leave, a little, leave the grease on that. Don't pour the grease out in the sink like you do with ground beef. Leave that because that turkey need a little grease to help it soak that flavor up. Leave that in there. And then, man, take put that cheese and stuff in there. Bam. Pour that junk on top of some Dorito. <laughs> nice big old. I ain't going to even drink a cup of Kool-Aid. I'm going to drink a. Uh, I'm going to drink out the pitcher, man. <laughs> Make me a pitcher of Kool-Aid. My own personal pitcher, man. Shoot. Knock that junk on down, man. That's going to be a good day right there, man. That's going to be a good day right there. Boy, I can't wait till that mug hit the crib. That's that's yeah that movie man I man I'm bro you gotta see that junk even if you're not a Batman fan a superhero movie fan this ain't no superhero movie like this is man like this is it was such a good balance between made for the comic book fans and made for regular people like you know for even like the nerds that know all the stuff. It was it gave you enough, but it also gave people enough that don't know the stuff and just want to see a good movie. Like, this movie was legit a good movie, man. Like for real, this movie was legit. 
a good movie, man. Like not just on some superhero next stuff. Not don't put that mug in no superhero category. And, and low key, it's a, it got some horror elements to it, cause you know Batman. It show you, you know how scary Batman <laughs> would be, man. You'd be scared of the mug, big, cause you know Batman about sit four. Walk up in that mug, sit four, cock diesel. So you be scared, man. You be scared to death. And I know that because when we do, you know, we we do a little movie called Trap Man. And uh, shoot, when my brother had that outfit on. I was really looking. I said, man, if I seen Negro look like this out there, and, and I'm taking the trash out, and he run up on me, shoot, <laughs> ain't gonna see nothing but but booty and elbows. That's because that means you're running when you don't see nothing but. It's really another way you say it. <laughs> you won't see nothing but the bottom of my feet, boy. I'll be gone, man. So, yeah. Hey, go see that thing, man. Go see that movie. Go see that movie. And uh, if you're new to the channel, man, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Come kick it with your boy, man. You know, I, I got a channel like ain't nobody else got out here. So, y'all uh, love y'all, man. And, um, you know, hey. Hopefully this this is the start of getting us some movies that get us back to the real deal, man. Quit all this bull jiving they out here doing and get us some stuff that's really what the people want, man. We want some good movies, Hollywood. We tired of this junk, man. Y'all got too much money to be messing around like that, man. Y'all got too much money. Y'all got hundreds of millions of dollars to spend on movies. So give us some good stuff, man. Quit playing around. Y'all be working on a movie three, four, five years, man. A hundred million dollar budget and all that. Quit playing around. Like, give us some good movies. Man, I'm tired of this junk, man. Don't let me have to tell you again. I'm going to take off my belt. So I'll be ready to whoop. I wear a belt with my jogging pants. <laughs> I had some basketball shorts on with a belt. You better go and play with me. Take my dang belt off.